So we did a play on um, the progressive reforms for women's rights. So, um, I'm playing um, Robin, which is a character who is the friend of Lucy's and Emily's. Who's, yeah. Okay, and I'm like um, Emily's mother, and I'm like a conservative, and I'm like a college student. So she's like the progressive one of our college. So Lucy, how's old Tom doing on the farm these days? Oh, he's just fine. He's a bit concerned with what those progressive women have been up to. Like that business about women's suffrage and the freedom to wear pants? Well, I think that's a fine idea to get women's voice heard in this world, but with or without our vote, the government staying the way it is. Both corrupt rats. There's nothing we can do about that, but the whole wearing pants notion, now that's taking it a little bit far. Why would we want to look like men? That might be true, but I've been hearing another wild idea being tossed around. What's that? The idea of a new... Hello, ladies. Robin, mother. Meet Miss Emily, the new woman. <laughs> <laughs> Graduate of Overland College and self proclaimed new woman. Emily, how good to see you again. So, new woman, huh? Graduate of Overland College, the hub for abolition and temperance movements. <laughs> and probably a post of time Oh, you know, you, you most young ladies rarely get to attend college and play sports like you do. How lucky you are. Did you have a good time? Why, Emily, have you changed since your father and I sent you to college? Playing with sports? Most women do not play sports. What a ridiculous notion. Mother, I just received my college degree in biology, and I'm all set for the future. Oh, Mother, if only you can see how successful I'm going to be as I pursue a career in science or medicine. Wouldn't it be just thrilling? Your daughter a nurse? That's quite an accomplishment. I'm so proud of you both. Sweetie, what if that's just not the right path for you? Shouldn't you just settle down, find a husband, and raise a family? Absolutely not. Is that all you think the female species can amount to? Excuse me, Robin. Sometimes I just don't think how you can act like this. Who's influencing you like this? Is the people that hang around with? Well, if you really must know, many nights I went to women's social clubs. We had very productive meetings, talking about cultural activities and self-improvement. Some of the leaders were working on a, on a state and national level to initiate research programs. Some lobbied for legislation. One even opened a library. I guess we're just trying to help the community by fighting for, you know, stuff people want, like health services and sanitation, protecting the environment, um, proper inspection of food. Women's suffrage, temperance, education, those kinds of things, Mom. No, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you like? I don't think that women have a place in society to be making changes like these. You know for yourself that it's dangerous, and you don't know what risk you're taking. I need you to stop right now. Mother, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm improving the lives for me, for you, Miss Robin, and all women. I know it may not seem like it now, but slowly we're building, we're bringing about radical change. Look, don't you care about Dad? Sometimes he's feeling really sick, and I'm, I'm, I'm pushing for better health services and care so that he can visit doctors and not be overwhelmed with fees and bills. I'm helping us. Just imagine yourself having a government assistance, and I know that's unreasonable. Why are you so against everything I'm doing? Because now you're supposed to tell the government what to do. You're a woman. I'm a woman. And we have the responsibility of more guarding. The more authority that we use to protect our homes, our families. How do you expect to do this when you're fighting every single social issue when you feel it's unjust? To me, moral guardians aren't just those who sit around and watch injustices come and go. I'm going to make a difference. You say I have moral authority? Well, I'm using it on issues like public sanitation and education that affect our home. I was lucky to go to school, and now I want education to improve and spread across the country. I'm using my moral authority to benefit others. You know what? I don't want to hear any more of this. Go to your room. I need to ask for it right now. Here, yeah, Lucy, take this. You'll be fine. And we will come around soon. I don't know what got into these young people. When they were her age, women did what they were supposed to do. They didn't meddle with this biology nonsense. See, this is a problem I first saw with Tom and I and her all the time. What we got in here was college death and even more rebellious thought. As if refused to wear dresses looking bad enough. What even are the bloomers that she's wearing? Well, it's a new trend, you know, young people. Everything will be all right. She's just accustomed to new opportunities from college. Oh, won't she just marry? Then she just can't quit studying all the time and take up knitting. Well, you know,
no, you shouldn't worry. She's going to marry eventually, though I do not think she'll give up what her college education has given her. There are many jobs available to a woman now. You know, she could be a clerk, a doctor, a lawyer, or a journalist. She'll make a way for herself in this world. Work outside the home? She must marry. She will. Knowing Emily, she'll find someone who's equally as capable as she is, which is to say she's going to find a very lucky man. Everything will be all right. And it appears that your daughter has forged a path for herself, so you don't need to worry about her future. I do hope so. Alright, so this is one week later, and I'm inviting Emily and Lucy to my house for dinner. Coming! <laughs> good evening, Aunt Robin! Hi, I'm How good. was your day? Oh, it was good. Everything's alright, you know, the usual, waking up the kids, making breakfast, going to work. And guess what? Tonight we have chicken to play with leeks for dinner. My favorite! You're the best, Aunt Robin! Oh dear, what got into you? I feel sick all of a sudden, Robin. May I lie down someplace? Of course! Wow, the economy must really be booming these days. Are you still working in the factories, Aunt Robin? No, not anymore. I now work as a store clerk in Macy's. Um, in the factory, in the, I left my factory job after I got married. Funny, my husband is now the factory overseer of the same place I worked in, and he tells me the conditions of the factory are rapidly improving. Really? Really? How so? Um, you see, the National Consumer State was created in 1891, and it's a non-stop trying to improve the working conditions for women one step at a time. That's great. So, what kind of reforms has it brought about? So far, the women leading the group have worked to standardize minimum wage, and set a maximum number of work hours and ameliorate working conditions. So, like years back, factories were cold, congested, oh, it was awful, believe me. But don't get me wrong, there are still some factories that have yet to be improved, but there's definitely been a significant improvement overall in the past 20 years. So, the National Consumer League, uh, is it in collaboration with those uh, uh, African Americans? No, because the greatest fear is that people who still the end of slavery may see our efforts as an attempt to create racial equality rather than women's equality. That's why, for the most part, white and black efforts have been kept separate. Oh, I see. But I will say that I am so happy that these factory women do not have to endure the conditions I did 20 years ago. I do enjoy my job as a clerk now. I have more independence and not answering to a work bell or having to work alongside tables with other girls sewing buttons to shirts all day in a locked room. It was quite scary if I thought too much about it. Also, I don't think factory work is fit for a woman my age. I do admit my fingers aren't as dexterous as they once were. Thank goodness there are groups such as the Women's Trade Union League to continue initiating strikes to enact reform in the factories. I think it's quite admirable having upper class and working class women collaborating for the same cause. Women's equality in the workplace. Now, that's enough about me. Thank you for coming all the way to the city to visit me. It must be a long trip back, so why don't you stay here tonight? What with your mother feeling up well at home? I'll get the light. Oh, would you like some help? Right. So now it's the next day, and I'm in a scene with Lucy. I hope you're feeling better today, Lucy. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. I had a very lovely conversation with your daughter. She's a very bright young woman. Right, yes. She misuses her words. Education is not a misuse. Yes, Lucy, I have seen in this past week how much you and your daughter disagree. But I think in order to understand where Emily's coming from, you ought to see things from her point of view. You both sure have one thing in common, stubbornness. I'll advise my child to see I think I'll go check the mail. I know those bills and bills and more bills can come in from our room. Well, that's strange. Most of these letters are for Emily. From whom? There's a letter from the NBCL, also known as the National Birth Control Society. Open the letter. Are you sure? As much I, as I don't know or like what she would up to, I'm not sure if I should be opening this. It's the only way to understand her better. I suppose so. It's from Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger? The one who founded the whole birth control movement? She's been lately gaining publicity in the papers. I actually just read her article, The Woman Rebel and the Fight for Birth Control. She just recently opened up a clinic in New York, too. Dear Emily, thank you for so much for your support and friendship. Our league has done a great deal of work in New York City. Lately, aiming to censor pornography and prostitution and abolish white slavery, which is sex trafficking. I know how important equality among men and women, men and women is up this to you. So I've attached some pamphlets regarding birth control that I can distribute to women in your area. I know that due to those much hated concept laws, it's illegal to distribute these through the mail, so I was hoping we could handle them. Also, I may be in trouble with the law in New York, but I don't want to be in trouble. Someday people will understand how birth control connects with social Darwinism and our efforts will not go on. If you like, perhaps.
that she can come and see her friends and work with me sometime. Your dear friend, Margaret Sanger. Is Margaret Sanger also tied to the eugenics movement? I believe so. Most of those high people are just supporting you because they believe that those with pure genes should be allowed to pass on the traits of the children. I don't believe in all the scientific nonsense, but I think everyone should have the right of children. I mean, would it be really unfair? Would it be really fair if a child is hanging around with others while someone else's child is trying to be outcast just because he is born with an unhealthy body? I suppose. I know it's very controversial, so there's been a lot of debate about it. With all these reforms, comes a lot of controversy because we're challenging traditional values and implementing new ones that we think will benefit society. So hopefully we'll all be able to one day reconcile the differences between gender relations and have equal opportunities for everyone. But it begins one step at a time.